what is the most critical factor for ensuring a fair and equitable economic system in the country? I'm guessing Malaysia. Thank you for the question. I believe that to ensure a fair and equitable economic in the country, it first starts from the leaders. And I believe that with empowering leaders, and with leaders who are able to make a change, and to be able to influence the people, where you have the sympathy, and be able to respect and empathize with the people of the nation, people, then you'll be able to create a nation where people can prosper and grow, regardless of their race, their religion and background. And I think as, Mal as Malaysian, we should celebrate our diversity and we should use this to our advantage, to be able to encourage one another to leverage on our economic status. Thank you. Wow. What impact do economic policies have on small business and entrepreneurship? ensure their voices are being heard on the global stage. issue regarding women's rights today? The most pressing issue, first of all, thank you so much for the question. Hello everyone. I would say the most pressing questions for women right now is that the gender equality and stereotypes 
stereotypes. I think us women, every single one of us, we all have ch the chance to be just as strong and brave and as shrewd and sharp as men. There's a lot of people out there with the type of mindset that women, you know, they should be at home and homemakers, and I believe that's not right. I think every single one of us has a chance to be as shrewd and sharp as men. And I believe with every single woman out there who are succeeding and who are being very empowering, I think every single one of us, with more women coming out and being empowered, I think we are all becoming even more braver day by day. And the women out there who are empowered are, sorry, <laughs> the women out there who are powerful and strong, I believe they give us the chance, the everyday woman, day by day, that we are strong, beautiful, and sp well-spirited. Thank you so much. How can governments and organizations support opportunities and equity for marginalized communities? Not an easy one. Not at all. First of all, I would say that it is very important to listen to everyone because everyone deserves to be heard. Let it be children, let it be women, or let it be people in colors. So I think that, in my opinion, inclusion in education is the best way to provide opportunities to marginalized community because I believe that education is a way to promote social upward mobility. And I think that as a young woman, you know, I benefit a lot from education. So I speak truly from my heart. And I think that education is the key. Thank you. Well said, well said. How can we address gender-based violence effectively? Thank you so much for the question, Hansa. Salamat malam, Malaysia. I think that gender-based violence should not be taken lightly. It's something that could be happening right beside us and go unnoticed. And I think that it's really important for us to emphasize on protecting our women. Because I feel like our women contribute to our society very significantly. They lead with compassion. And I think that is very important in our current society because we have seen so many violence and wars. And I think that violence is never the answer. It's really important for us to come together and create a safe environment for our women. Thank you.